I'm sure you're going to enjoy listening to Robert Williams. Thank you. I call this story, Air in the Tar. Um, and I, by the end of the story, you'll understand what it means, I hope. But um, a long, 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 long time ago, when I was a young man, I took a job with the Pennsylvania Railroad. I was going to be a freight brakeman. I thought, what a cool job. And it was, too. It was a very cool job. I spent most of my time riding around on a freight train. Great job. And they gave me two weeks intensive training. Um, and then, as a new brakeman, they placed me on the extra list, which is a labor pool. And they placed me on the Harrisburg Division, which runs from Philadelphia, more or less, to the other side of Harrisburg, uh, Enola Freight Yard, which is this massive freight yard. Uh, it's several miles long, a couple of miles wide. It's absolutely huge. And uh, one evening I got a call. I was going to work a yard switcher in Enola Yard uh, at 12 o'clock to 8 o'clock in the morning. So I drove out there, got my sign up, and uh, found what locomotive, the number of the locomotive I was going to be on, and I wound my way out to it, climbed up aboard the locomotive, walked into the cab, and there was a couple guys standing there. And I said, um, hello, I'm, well, I should tell you, when you go west from here, you run into a, a, an unusual accent. It's sort of Dutch, sort of. Uh, I, can, I, can, I can imitate it better than I can explain it. So at any rate, I walked into the cab, there was a couple of fellows standing there, and I walked in and I said, hello, my name's Robert. And the guy turned around to me and says, ah, you're braggy. I should uh, explain to you that they talk funny and they shout. You're braggy. I said, uh, no. Robert. He said, no, 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 you're the bagman. You're braggy. I said, okay. <laughs> and uh, who are you? He said, I'm Chet. I said, Chuck? No, Chet. Chet? Chet. Okay, okay. I'm going to go over here and sit down. Stop shouting at me. So I sat there for a while with the diesel rumbling, and I'm listening to these guys talk to them. And they're, they're saying things like, well, Jack, what for book you got there, Roy? Well, that is my song get it went into my attendance town and ate the fair horse. And I'm saying, what language is this? <laughs> it could be English, but it's not. So after a while, same guy, Jack, turns to me and he says, Bricky, yo, won't you take this up? Give it to Ah. Said, who? Said, Ah. <laughs> said, Ah. Said, ah. Said, okay. Where would I find Ah? <laughs> says, on the tar. <laughs> of course. So I walk down on the platform of the, of the locomotive and I'm looking over this black Enola yard, this expansive yard, ranging in colors from dark gray to black. You know, with these black things moving through it. They had some Klieg lights here and there that didn't so much illuminate this glare. And I think, well, here's my first assignment on the railroad as a railroader. And all I've got to do is go out in this mess and find ah in the tar. <laughs> and I'm so screwed. <laughs> so I climbed down off the locomotive, and I'm, I'm figuring, well, if you don't know where you're going, any direction's as good as another. So I started walking. And I didn't walk too far until I found another brakeman standing by a switch. So I strolled up to him and said, uh, hey, brakey. Yeah. Um, I'm looking for R, <laughs> who was last seen in the tar. <laughs> He said, that's yeah, where he is now. <laughs> Good. Where is the tar? <laughs> Just right there. I said, right there? Yeah. I said, that's the tower. Yeah. Oh, OK, all right, we're on to something here. So the tower is a long, large block building. You know, it's not so much big around, but it's very high, and windows at the top. Walk in the door, climb the long stairs, get to the top of the stairs. There's four or five guys sitting around, hanging around. And I said, I'm looking for her. <laughs> Guy sitting in a chair says, oh, that's me. I thought, I've done it. <laughs> I've completed my mission. I've found her in the tar. <laughs> I fairly tapped dance over to him and gave him the slip. And I said, there you are. And I'm feeling pretty full of myself. And I said, uh, 
You know, uh, that's a pretty interesting name you got there. Ah. <laughs> How do you spell that? And he looked at me like, gave me that, who let you in here look? And he said, I R A. Thank you. I say, Ira? Your name is Ira? R in the tar is Ira in the tower? So I left. I went back to the crew and, you know, spent the rest of the night working. And, and um, you know, I got used to them. They got used to me. And they gave me a pretty good report to my supervisor, being a, you know, a new brakeman and all. And they said, yeah, that Williams kid, he's a good kid. He works hard. The only trouble is, you got to spell every second bird you say it to him. <laughs> and that's my story of R and the car. <laughs>